This lip liner is gonna need sharpening after this. Let's talk about my favorite nude lip products. I am obsessed with a nude lip. I think it goes with everything and it just makes you look kind of like sexy but natural. It's literally my favorite thing to wear on my lips. I've gathered a couple of products from lip liners to lipsticks to lip oils and even lip balms. I'm gonna leave timestamps below so you can hover over the parts that you would like to see. I hope you enjoy this gathering of my top favorite nude lipsticks and more. This is a no order of preference. I will tell you what my favorite one is, but I kind of love all of them just as much. I'm going to start off with this Christian Dior lipstick. It's the 100 Nude Look in the Velvet finish. They have a couple of finishes, but this one is a velvet one. It just has such a beautiful matte velvet texture. It's not like extra extra pigmented. I feel like I still see somewhat of my lip shade. Any lipstick, they're all gonna look so different on different skin tones. I love also this packaging. Like it has like a very beautiful interior. It's red and you see the logo right there. It's also refillable. It has a Dior logo on the lipstick. It also has it here and on the main component. The logo is everywhere. You're not going to forget this is a Dior lipstick. I just really love it. I love the formula. I love how matte it is. It feels like really soft and nice. And the type of nude it is, it's a very much like a pinky nude. And it's really good. It's not like super pigmented, but I kind of like that in a lipstick. I just love having this on a night out and just reapplying it. It feels luxurious. It feels cute. I, I just really, really love this lipstick. Second lipstick that I absolutely love is this one from rose ink i applied it i'm using the same lip liner with all the lipstick i'll talk about the lip liner in a little bit but this rose ink lipstick has been a go-to for any occasion for daytime or nighttime anytime that i want my lip to not be so matte to have a little bit of a sheen and it's definitely a lot more pigmented than the dior one so i think it's a perfect shade it has some brown in it it's kind of like a beigey nude and it's called besetted and I've talked about it a lot here on the channel. And I love that it's moisturizing and then it has a little bit of a sheen for the days where I just don't want to be like super matte. I'm going to swatch it next to the Dior one. So this one is besetted here on the bottom and it's definitely more warm and more creamy and definitely more pigmented than the Dior one. So it just gives me more warmth to my complexion and it feels super hydrating. It is magnetic. I always say that because I just love a magnetic cap and it's also refillable. So this is Be Sudded. Absolutely love it. 100% recommend it. This one is a new integration to my collection. It is from Rare Beauty in the color Worthy. Out of all the ones that I tried, I really, really love this one. I've kind of been wearing it non-stop and it's definitely more mauve more grayish. I would say it does high feel like it has some gray in it but it's so suitable for just like a really beautiful nude matte lip the rose ink definitely has more of a sheen to it and this one is completely matte but it's super comfortable on the lip it's not gonna be like an uncomfortable cracky kind of like matte i'm gonna swatch it next to the rose ink one so here is the rare beauty on the bottom you can definitely see there's a lot more pink tone cool mauvey and neutral than the rose ink one one. It's pretty similar to the Dior one, more creamy than the Dior one, and a lot more pigmented. Definitely for the days where I want to be more cool toned pink rather than warm and pink. So yeah, this is Rare Beauty and Worthy. This one needs absolutely no introduction. Almost everybody has this lipstick. The people that have told me that they don't have it, I'm like, get it? And they end up really loving it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This one is just such a beautiful neutral pink, but it's also not super heavily pigmented. I feel like this matte formula is really comfortable on the lips, which is why it's so universally flattering because it's going to enhance your natural lip tone. I'm going to swatch it next to the other ones. Here is right on the bottom. I would describe this as a very neutral pink on with more warm undertones. If you compare it to the Dior one on the top, the Dior one is a lot more of a cool toned pink nude. 
and this one it's more of a warm pink tone nude while they all look super similar they all have slightly different effects to it probably my most repurchased is the charlotte tilbury um i absolutely love it i think i'm gonna love it for a very long time and it's like that hint of pink without being extremely pink it's still like a nude pillow talk it's absolutely gorgeous so let's talk about the lip liner it is tiny because i've used this non-stop i've repurchased it probably like more than three times and i still love it it is my go-to lip liner for when i want a subtle nude color i have other lip liners that maybe are a little bit more rose tone or maybe more brown but this one is just my perfect nude color it gives me some definition without being like super overboard you do have to use a sharpener it's not retractable or push out it is very much a matte and long wearing formula that's kind of why i really love it it's very long wearing and it's matte and as you can tell it really suited every single lipstick that i put on top of it so yeah super versatile it's beautiful and it really defines your lips while looking subtle let's talk about lip balms I am wearing the one from Kosas. It's in the shade Flow. I wear this on a daily basis. When I don't want to look super made up, I just go with Flow. Getting that hyaluronic acid benefit and hydrating benefits while having a little hint of something, but not full glam. I love the flavor. I love the peppermint smell. I think it's so soothing and so good. I actually use the lip balm in clear. If I'm not using the tinted version, I'm definitely using the clear version it's definitely that lip balm that you just want to have in your bag at all times with you even the days where you feel like your lips are a little bit too dry for a matte lipstick this one is what i usually go for and my lips are hydrated the whole day and it feels comfortable to wear favorite tinted lip balm this one is the darkest color that i have here it is the nars soft matte lip balm so it is what it says it's a hydrating matte finish lip balm and the color is whiplash it is definitely one of the darkest tones that i have here i usually tend to wear this with a darker lip liner but with iconic nude it gives you a pretty good combination there it is hydrating but definitely not as hydrating as a kosas one and it's just a little bit darker so it's definitely for the days where i want to have a darker lip i'm gonna swatch it on the top it's this one right here on the top you can tell that it's a lot warmer and more orange in tone I I forgot to swatch the Kosas one so here it goes this one's definitely just more hydrating and creamy here's the Kosas one on the bottom it definitely has more of a sheen to it but they're kind of similar in tone however the Nars one is definitely darker but I kind of love the effect that it gives me it's kind of like 90s kind of grunge so if you're looking for a matte lip balm then 100% would recommend the line they have more colors this is just the one that I got and I really really enjoy it. So when it comes to lip products, I'm not very much a lip gloss kind of person, but if I had to choose, it is definitely the Merit Lip Oil in Taupe. I think it's a perfect nude lip color and it's just super moisturizing. However, it is a lip oil, so don't expect longevity here. You're gonna have to reapply a lot if you really, really like it. I, of course, love nude colors, so this one is just the perfect nude tone for that sheen and that gloss. Not much to say about this one, but I absolutely love the color. I'm gonna swatch it right here on the bottom. But right here on the top is definitely more warm tone brown kind of color, but it is hydrating, glossy, reflective, but still neutral and absolutely gorgeous. So those are my eight top nude lip products. Every one has a different purpose. Let me know if you would like to see more top picks from me. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.